ECS and EKS are both Amazon technologies that will help you with your container orchestration. Both run microservices with Docker and have the ability to auto-scale to your needs. So what's the difference? This video will help you choose the right technology for you and understand what you are dealing with. ECS is a container orchestration service that helps you deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications. Some of the key features are that it runs on Amazon. You can manage your instances or go serverless. Use CloudWatch for monitoring and logging, and you can manage access with IAM. It's also easy to set up and learn, doesn't have a lot of components, and there's no need to manage any control plane, nodes, or add-ons. Now let's talk about EKS. Kubernetes is an open source system that helps you deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications. EKS is a managed Kubernetes service that also runs on Amazon, lets you manage your instances or go serverless, use CloudWatch for monitoring and logging, and manage security with IAM and RBAC. Let's not forget that EKS is also easy to use if you already know Kubernetes. It allows for full flexibility in your architecture let you manage control plane, nodes and add-ons, and use service mesh to run complex routing. Let's now look at the parts of each service and compare them. To start, we need to create a cluster, which is a logical grouping of all components. Both services will need a cluster to run your resources and can be powered by either EC2 instances or Fargate. Inside it, you will find one or more services running. This will have the necessary configuration to show your app to the world like connections to load balancers and open ports. Here's where both technologies part ways, but although named differently, both task definition and deployment are a set of instructions to tell what our containers will be, their image, environment variables, CPU and memory, etc. And finally, at the core of everything, we get the simplest unit we can have, the task or pod, which is our actual container or containers that are running. This can be scaled, deleted or modified with ease by our orchestrators to meet demands and requirements. There's still a lot more components to it, but it's too much for this short video. So let's keep it simple for now. In summary, ECS is for simple architectures, minimal maintenance and low cost, but that doesn't keep big companies from using it. Like the team at Prime Video, who implemented Amazon ECS to manage task and capacity, where if a task fails, it will be replaced in a couple of minutes even scaling up to 6,000 containers automatically on peak events. On the other hand, EKS is for complex architectures because of its wide arrangement of features, high maintenance and full flexibility. Running on a technology created by Google is no wonder why so many people use it. This testimony by the CTO at the Macy sums it up better. We are impressed by the ease and reliability that EKS provides. It allows us to start new Kubernetes clusters within minutes instead of hours providing a better test and performing platform to our customers. Connected to the fact that we can leverage spot instances and other cost-saving measures of AWS makes those scaling events a worry-free situation for everybody. Now that you are ready to select the right service for you, which one are you going for? Take a look at our DevOps resources for more information on these awesome services and contact us if you need help with all your development and DevOps needs. See you next time.